Hello everybody, this is Phoenix Cindy, and well, welcome to the first devlog of Lazarcon. Now, Lazarcon is a 2D platformer I am working on, which has a focus on speed, agility, momentum, and mastery. So to do this, there will be like different levels of mechanics that you can learn and master, and be able to use throughout the game to, you know, control your speed and momentum. So I apologize to all those who were at my cast presentation, who have been waiting for a devlog or a beta for quite a while. I've been pretty busy for the past couple of days, but now hopefully I will have more time to be able to work on Lazargon more and make more devlogs. So the levels of mechanics that Lazargon has, the first level is basic mechanics. So those are like, you know, your usual run and jump and wall jumps and crawling, which I don't really have to explain that often. If you played 2D platformers before, you know them pretty well. Then the advanced mechanics are the ones where Lazargon's unique abilities really shine so those ones are things like the dive roll and dive jump which allow you to convert forward speed which the dive roll and dive jump allow you to convert downward speed into forward speed and then there's the upward and downward wall jump which allow you to convert forward speed into upward speed or downward speed and there's many more mechanics like this that allow you to convert your directional speed and be able to control it and maintain it so currently i have beta 0.1.0 which is janky and pretty much really bad. It's the first iteration of the mechanics that I tried to program, and they work, they're there, but one, the level design and the beta 0.1.0 is really bad, and two, the mechanics are just bad, like janky and unresponsive sometimes, and it's just, I, I don't recommend playing it unless you want to play a broken game. But I do have it here just so that I can see how much I've progressed from my first attempts at Lazargon. Beta 0.2.0 is a lot closer to how I want the mechanics to be, though there are some tweaks I want to make, which I will get into really soon. So Beta 0.2.0 is the one I showed off for the cast presentation that I mentioned at my school. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, just know that I was presenting the demo of it, uh, that which was Beta 0.2.0, to some of my classmates. So pretty much that one is a lot closer to what I want. The mechanics are a lot smoother. It actually is responsive and just a lot better to play, a lot closer to my vision. Though there are, as I mentioned, the tweaks. The tweaks are I want to change the colliders. I want to do a few adjustments to a few variables to make sure that it's more dependent on friction than actual forces because I want to add an ice level and that isn't really possible if your character doesn't follow friction. So I have a few tweaks I have to do, and also a few more advanced mechanics that I haven't added, like swimming and other ones like that. So those will be in beta 0.3.0, which hopefully will come out pretty soon. For beta 0.3.0 is pretty much going to be all the basic, all the advanced, and all the elemental, which is the next level of mechanics that I want to add. Now, the elemental abilities are pretty much ones that I want the player to be able to get throughout the game. So, pretty much to be able to add onto their current moveset. And there will be four in total. One for earth, one for water, one for air, and one for fire. I'm not going to tell them right now because I'm still working on them and I don't want to pretty much... Uh, I might be... I don't think I'll change them, but there is still that possibility, so... Just know that those will be in the beta 0.3.0. So if you really want to get a feel for how Lazargon is going to be, I would recommend waiting till beta 0.3.0 or beta 0.4.0. Because 0.4.0 will have the combat mechanics. And after that, all the player's mechanics should be done, and I'll be able to move on to enemies and to levels and to everything else. So yeah, I hope that you guys stay excited and be sure to follow my Instagram at Phoenix Indie. I should have it on the screen so you don't get confused and be able to continue to follow my progress with this game. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it sometime, not really, really soon because I know it's a pretty big passion project, but hopefully this doesn't take me like 10 years. I don't think it'll take me 10 years, but you know, there's always that possibility. So see you later.